Hey guys, it's Eric with another episode of Enchanted Minds. Today we're going to talk about what to do when you turn level 70. This game is very, very big. There's so many different quests, so many different campaigns, so many different things to do. It's important that you get off to... Um, you get off to the 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 right start. Um, it's a very big pie. We're gonna slice it up for you. Make sure that you can handle um, the piece of the pie that you're given here right when you turn level 70. So when you turn level 70, um, there's several things that you want to take advantage of to make your character stronger right from the get-go. Um, so the first is given here. Of course, by Sergeant Knox, a quest called Protector's Emissary, tells us to go talk to Lord Never Ember, and they're going to give us an artifact offhand for free, just for hitting level 70. Ah, thank you for coming. It's given by Never Ember, you gotta come over here to the chest, even though it doesn't light up, of course. There it is, Elemental Fire Sword Knot. So this is huge stat increases for us. And this helps to boost the character right from the get-go. Now this is actually half of a set. The other half of the set, guys, is over here in Spinward Rise. Um, Elemental Evil, you should be working on this. If it's not complete, you need to get all of Elemental Evil done for the boons. We'll talk about that here in a second. But in Spinward Rise, when you complete it, you can see there, Elemental Fire Great Axe. So this is the main hand to the Elemental set. You want to go get that right away. This is going to boost your damage ten times. <laughs> Um, possible exaggeration there but it's gonna boost it it's gonna boost it a lot guys so go get that done right away free main hand free off hand next we're gonna talk about campaigns so there's again lots of campaigns available for you right when you turn level 70 the ones that you want to be working on from the get-go are going to be dread ring Sharandar maze engine maze engine you should have been working since you were 60 but if you weren't get started on it now these have what are called daily quests guys daily quests are a quest that you pick up every day to earn campaign currency for that campaign so maze engine opens level 60 uh, Sharndar level 64 and then the other one I mentioned was the Dread Ring so Dread Ring opens level 70 and you pick that up from Nox we'll pick that up him, from him in a moment the other campaign that you want to work on is picked up right here from Never Ember <clears throat> and that one's gonna be the River District Impeccable. So the River District, guys, is much harder than the other spots, the other campaigns. And you're going to want to work on River District as a group. Um, you're going to want to go out there with a guild. You're going to want to go out there with your friends. Because um, you probably will not be able to handle it right when you turn level 70 alone. So go out there with some friends. Start working on River District. And get the weapons out there, guys. The weapons are very very good they're a huge upgrade over the elemental weapons so you want to make sure that you start working on them uh, now because they take about the same amount of time to get those weapons it's about three weeks um, as it does to get all of the other campaigns we talked about dread ring sharandar maze engine those are going to take about three weeks to complete as well and those ones you're doing for the boons. So the boons, guys, if you're a new 70, you probably haven't heard that phrase too much, but let me tell you the boons are huge. So the boons are going to account for about 60% of your character's potential. 
So the boons are unlocked through the campaign. They're a lot like feats. And that's why the campaigns are important, which makes the dailies very important, because you can only progress a certain amount each day. It's not like the, the lower level, level zones or like Elemental Evil, where you get to move it to your own pace. These dailies, guys, if they're neglected, it's going to come back to bite you. <clears throat> so you want to be working on the dailies. You want to do them every day. I recommend first thing you do every day, do your dread ring or your... your uh, your maze engine because Bruno Battlehammer is going to give you a random quest area to go to that your friend might not get. If you guys are grouped together, it's going to send you quite possibly to two random zones more often than not. So I would do that alone first thing when you log in. You should be able to handle Sharndor and you should be ha able to handle Dread Ring on your own also. So uh, although those do go faster if you have a group. Uh, and then again, River District, you're definitely going to want to have a group put together for. As you can see here, Nux gives the, the Dread Ring. And then Sharndar um, is opened through your special quest tab if you haven't opened it already. Oh, uh, looks like Dread Ring is as well. This is it. Lord Neverember has ordered General Sabine and the Neverwinter Guardwood. A strange elven envoy has recently arrived here in Neverwinter. So you'll want to start working on those guys. And the next thing we're going to talk about is your gear score, uh, which basically shows how strong your character is. This includes your boons. Um, so right now, uh, what you need, you need to get up to 7500 so you can start doing epic dungeons the max you can go right now in the game is uh, just over 6000 so 7500 is what you need to do epic dungeons and the way you're going to get the gear score up guys uh, first of all getting that offhand getting that main hand from spinward rise that we talked about and then also you're going to get yourself uh, all of your artifacts so when you're level 70 the fourth artifact slot opens up you're gonna want to make sure that uh, you have artifacts in all of these and if you don't have artifacts and you don't have the astral diamonds to buy them on the trade house then you can come check over here with uh, Savella in the halls of justice she does sell an artifact that gives critical strike um, it's good if you don't have anything it's also good for a feeder better to have some stats little stats than no stats at all also guys that item level going to help you get into the dungeons going to help you to get some groups together easier now the new expansion guys just came out uh, jungles of Cholt this new area is readily available for you guys to travel to i would not recommend working on it until your gear score is 9000 and you have a solid group to go out there with it's it's harder than river district guys very difficult but you do need to get it open up you need to get it opened up right away so you need to call together some of your higher level friends to get that opened up because there is a store in the city there in in the port of Nyan Razu that has the uh, league vendor this vendor guys has equipment for you item level 420 that you can buy with astral diamonds so You'll, if, if in comparison to the stuff that you got from Elemental Evil, this is a massive upgrade. We're talking at least 100 points, sometimes more. And that alone might take you up to the 7,500 mark. You also get double-slotted rings out there, which will allow you to get enchants. Uh, you do want to have all rank 7 enchants if you don't already. 
you can buy those with your trade bars that you get from opening lock boxes. Hail adventure. They're pretty cheap, they're a good bargain. Six trade bars will get you a rank seven enchant, uh, any of the, the four basic ones. And then something else you can get with trade bars is the pilgrim equipment. Level 460 gear, guys. If you have the trade bars, get these right away. If you do not have the trade bars, save your trade bars up and get these right away. For those of you asking what trade bars are, that's a great question. So trade bars come from opening lock boxes. Every lock box that you open is gonna give you trade bars. Um, it's a random amount. So some are gonna give you more than others. And there's also a trade bar jackpot. I've never hit it. I know folks who have, so it does exist. Um, and that will be a big boost for you to, to open some lock boxes, which is going to require some enchanted keys. So how do we get these enchanted keys? You can see here they're attainable with, uh, with your VIP. You get a little pouch every day, uh, two pouches. The purple one's gonna give us enchanted key. The other one's gonna give us epic dungeon chest key. So the enchanted key over here in the useful items, one key per day from the VIP benefits. So that's one lockbox per day, guys, that you can open. Or you can buy the keys for 125 Zen each. So in comparison, the VIP is a really good deal. Because the VIP for 1,000 Zen, you're getting 30 keys. Some months, 31. So definitely worth it. Also the VIP, 15% bonus experience, 15% bonus astral diamonds in the dungeons. Also when you guys salvage, 15% bonus astral diamonds. So you guys need to get your VIP. Um, if you don't have VIP, you can obviously pay the 10 bucks to get it. Or the other way to get it is through the Astral Diamond Exchange. The Astral Diamond Exchange allows you to convert your hard-earned Astral Diamonds into Zen. So what this means, guys, is you can buy your VIP with Astral Diamonds. Meaning you can earn the VIP through the game without having to deposit cash onto the game. This game can be free to play and you can hit 16,000 item level. It is possible, right? So if you, but if you put money in, it can go faster for you. Um, as long as you're putting money in the right places and we have videos that talk about that as well But for me, I like to earn my astral diamonds. I like to buy my Zen with astral diamonds And again, that's done through the astral diamond exchange so then Another trick that we do to, to keep that a little bit uh, a little bit cheaper for you guys. So it's a thousand Zen um, what we do, we save these celestial bags of refining, this little purple bag that you guys get when you do your invocations on your characters. So you get two of these bags per day, per character. I like to save them up until I know I'm going to need to buy VIP or something else uh, that's going to cost more than a thousand Zen. And the reason being, guys, they drop coupons. I'm sure you guys have noticed they drop coupons sometimes. Not every time, but sometimes. 
Didn't get one that time. So the coupon that we're looking for is 15% off any item. 15% off any item. And then we apply that coupon to the one month VIP, which allows us to get the VIP for 850 Zen guys. This is huge. When you, when you're new 70, you don't have a lot of astral diamonds. You're still learning how to make astral diamonds. This is huge. So you know, you're getting it for 332,000 was what it would be right now. Of course, the, the exchange rates a little high. It will go back down because the expansion just came out. Um, so keep that number in mind, 332 as opposed to 391, 60,000 astral diamonds that you guys would save with that coupon. So then, <clears throat> excuse me, the question arises then guys, how do we get the astral diamonds? And that, and that simple. So the astral diamonds are earned in dungeons. This one here, Cloak Tower, one of my favorites. Available at level 12. The reason why it's one of my favorites is this dungeon takes on average about seven minutes and it's going to give you 6,000 astral diamonds. The same, the same as, as, as a Malabog's castle would, right? Instead of taking 20 minutes, this is gonna take 10 minutes. Now, once you get, get into the epic dungeons, you're going to want to get into those because not only are you getting the bonus astral diamonds, your first two dungeons every day, guys, 6,000 astral diamonds. And then also your first two skirmishes each day are going to give you 3,000 astral diamonds each. So in total, that's 18,000 bonus rough astral diamonds. Now the difference between a regular dungeon and the epic dungeon is that in the epic dungeon you get the bonus astral diamonds, same as you would as the cloak tower. However, you get salvageable items as well. Things that you can send to your other characters to salvage to get more rough astral diamonds. And more importantly than that, guys, is the epic drops that come in these dungeons. So you can get you can get drops that are worth two hundred thousand, four hundred thousand, and air archon worth eight hundred thousand. These dungeons drop items that people pay big astral diamonds for, guys. So all it takes is a good drop and a steady a steady awareness of of how many astral how are how many dungeons you're running two a day two skirmishes a day and the other nice thing this throne of the dwarven gods you guys are going to want to do because it drops rings that you're going to want to get plus four rings that are even a little bit better than the ones that you'll be able to buy in Cholt. Um, so you want to do this Throne of the Dwarven Gods. Um, it also is going to give you salvageable equipment. So before you can get into the Epic Dungeon, you'll want to be spending your time in the Cloak Tower. And you'll want to be spending your time in Throne of the Dwarven Gods. This will allow you to get the Astral Diamonds to convert into Zen by the VIP and then you'll be off to the races with uh, your enchanted keys with your your dungeon keys and it'll be easier for you to make more astral diamonds so we've talked about campaigns guys we've talked about making astral diamonds uh, we've talked about the gear score a little bit. The, the other thing with the gear score, guys, is, is refinement. 
So you'll notice that your artifact weapons, your artifact offhand, also your artifacts can be upgraded. You can put refinement points into these items and make them stronger. And you're going to want to do that <clears throat> as quickly as you can. Just a few stones. This thing's ready to be upgraded. So look at the item level. This going from 52 up to 92. That's, that's 40. Just from a handful of rank 5s. So if you do that to all four of these, that's, that's another 160 points, guys. Uh, also, your belt and your waist, your artifact belt and waist can be upgraded. You want to use Rasanas and stones for that. And that's something else that you guys are going to want to look into. So now that you're level 70, you're going to want to start looking at builds, guys. You're going to want to start doing research on how to make your character flow, how to make combos, how to make the character work really well to do the most damage or to tank the best or to heal the best or buff the best whatever it is you're trying to do with your character how to do it the best and fit your play style so you want to start doing research and the reason I talk about this is you're going to want to find an artifact set that works well for your character <clears throat> so artifact set guys is um critical that you choose that you choose the right one for your class for your build um, and these are going to be you can only have one set so it's neck waist and then artifact these bonuses are going to be massive massive so the most popular one right now uh is the orcus set is what we call it you know, it's really called the Demon Lord's Immortality Set, but I call it Orca Set. Um, you inspect the artifact. You see three of set deal up to 20% additional damage based on the difference in hit point percentage between player and target. This is huge, guys, for DPS characters. So with that being said you're going to want to find yourself an artifact set that works well for your character you're going to want to buy it right away before the vip even and you're going to want to start upgrading it and we do we do have a video that breaks down the refinement in detail guys because the refinement's huge uh there's a lot to it and it's easy to take stuff to blue and I'll say this it might not seem so at first but it's also easy to take things from blue to purple so it gets difficult after that taking things from 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 purple which is epic up to orange which is legendary that's a challenge that's an uphill battle we have there's strategies to make that easier for you guys and we have we have videos for that so make sure that you guys if you're new to the game watch the refinement video as it's critical for you guys in, in ranking up your gear score quickly and, and becoming the strongest that your character can be uh, with efficiency and with that guys I will say this last bit of information if you if you haven't found yourself a good guild find yourself a good guild right because this is what this game is designed to do this game is designed to be played together it's designed to uh, encourage you to work as a team so for example that river district guys you want to start that immediately as soon as possible but you can't go out there alone so find a guild find some friends work as a team same with the dungeons uh, it, it get, it's, it's, fun, it's fun to run dungeons with the same people every night. Different dungeons. Same group. You know, so find that group, guys. Go have some fun. As always, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you guys subscribe. Thank you all very much. You have. Your support's really appreciated. Um, and as always, guys, as always, any, 
any questions, any concerns, uh, if you need help, leave comments down below. I'll be sure to respond. If you need help in game on PS4, I will do that uh, as well. Um, and as always, guys, may the drops be ever in your favor. Eric out.